All right, this example is going to use capital budgeting tools to evaluate the construction of a strip mall. ABC Properties, thinking about doing a strip mall in Ladson. It would cost $2.6 million. Uh, once they got it built, they would depreciate it over a 20-year period using straight-line depreciation. So that would be 5% of, of $2.6 million per year or about $130,000. They project five years worth of rental and operating expenses and then they would estimate that they would sell it after five years to somebody else uh, for about $3.25 million. All right, they can raise debt at 4% and raise equity at 12% and their capital structure is 30% debt, 70% equity. So we can use that to calculate a weighted average cost of capital. They got a 40% tax rate based on this information. Is this a good decision? And to do the decision analysis, we use capital budgeting tools like net present value, internal rate of return, and modified internal rate of return. All right, if we set up a timeline for the cash flows, up front, it's going to spend $2.6 million to get the thing up and running. And then in year one, they expect $450,000 of rental income, and they expect that to grow by 3% a year. So they've gone out there and made their numbers and projected rental income, operating expenses, and they also factor in some of that is, is growth. They assume operating expenses 40% of whatever the rental income is. Admin expenses, which they start at 135000 and those go up by 3000 a year. Now, I didn't say, I, I didn't really go into where they came up with a forecast. We're just assuming that they had a financial analyst on staff who knows how to do this and has added those numbers together. The depreciation expenses, so if you take revenue minus all the other operating expenses, operating profit, 5000 the first year, 10000 the second, 15, 21, 26. We want to take out the income taxes because Uncle Sam's going to take his pound of flesh. So the after-tax operating profits, these are accounting profits, all right, are, are fairly low. Now, on a cash flow basis, though, remember, the rental income is going to be cash. They're going to actually pay us. These operating expenses where you're paying maintenance people and electricians and people come repair floors and all that other uh, good stuff, those are cash expenses. These admin expenses for a property manager and insurance and other things, those have to be paid as cash. But a large chunk of these expenses are non-cash depreciation. I didn't actually pay anybody any money. I spent that money when I built the complex. And this is just how I take it slowly into the accounting stream. So if I add that back, I have a better idea how many dollar bills flowed into the company in year one, two, three, and four. And that looks a little bit more respectable. And then at the end of the fifth year, uh, we're assuming we can sell it for three and a quarter million dollars. So highlighted in yellow are the cash flows. So all I have to do is add together all the cash flows. 2.6 million up front, then 133,000 in, 136,000, 139, 142, and then 3.4 million dollars at the end of the fifth year. The cost of capital, to take the weighted average cost of capital, 30% debt, and debt costs 4%, 70% equity, and equity costs 12%. The weighted average cost of capital is a little under 10%, 9.6%. If I take the present value at 9.6%, what it costs me for money, the present value of these cash flows in years one through five is $2.586 million. The initial cost, though, is $2.6 million. 
So if we took on this project, it would be like throwing $13,263 into the street today. All right, so in a present value terms, the grand total of money coming in is three million nine forty seven eighty okay but remember we that's why we use time value money that's close to four million dollars but that's most of that money is coming way out here in the future so if I take these and look at what they're worth in today's dollars they're worth less than two point six million so I'd be buying I'd be paying two point six million dollars to purchase cash flows that are only worth 2.586. All right, so I'd be throwing away $13,000 uh, buying, some, buying something for 2.6 that isn't worth that much. The profitability index is the present value of the future cash flows divided by the absolute value of the initial investment. So you're bringing in 99 cents for every dollar invested. That's not that's not making money. The internal rate of return, fairly easy to do that IRR and then calculate all the cash flows. 9.5 percent. So you're borrowing at 9.6 and investing at 9.5. That's not really good business. All right, and if I calculate the modified internal rate of return, all that does is we do the same process, but then we tell it to use 9.6% as the finance and as the reinvestment rate. And it's going to probably be slightly lower. Yeah. Let me add a decimal place so we can see that a little bit. Okay, so the slight difference in the MIRR than in the IRR, but both of them are still less than the weighted average cost of capital, which we have up here at 9.6%. So bottom line, even though this $2.6 million investment brings back almost $4 million, the timing of it is such that it takes you, in the, it, it's like the fifth year before you, you get back the bulk of it. All those cash flows, that $4 million in cash flow, is only worth $2.586 million today. So this would not be a, <coughs> a good investment as it stands now. Of course, if they could do something, for instance... Let's say that uh, the local county really wants that strip mall. They say, tell you what, we're going to give you a $200,000 tax credit. All right. And so it might be that the spacing of the $200,000 tax credits in each of these years might actually make it a better deal. All right. But this gives you a negotiating ground. Uh, as this deal stands now, though, it doesn't make any sense unless you could do something to either increase the revenue, decrease the expenses, increase the, the sale price at the end of the fifth year, or cut back on the cash flows in the, uh, in the construction phase.